sale at Kroger so I went ahead and got one. It's actually Memorial Day weekend when you're you're watching us a week after the fact. Memorial Day for those of you not in the U.S. it's just a American holiday. Uh, so we have a long weekend but and traditionally we have watermelon so I was tempted and got one um, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually crack into it this weekend. They were selling these devices to slice the watermelon. It's like uh, thing that you put it's like a circle with blades in it and you press press it down and it cuts the watermelon into slices and I, I'm tempted to get that it's 20 bucks uh, but the reason I didn't get it is it doesn't look like it would fit all sizes of watermelon like you get one that'd be just a little bit too big for it so I didn't get it it's similar to those apple core cutter things if you've ever seen them, they're like a little circle that you mash down on an apple and it cuts it into slices. Um, so yeah, um, but hopefully they're good this year, you know, they're, they can be hit or miss, the watermelons. I'm disappointed though, because I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking about how I was going through a phase where I totally love buying um, passion fruit and I was excited for watermelon season because I keep seeing everybody put passion fruit on watermelon. Well, lo and behold, the day that they have all the watermelons, like, woohoo, watermelon season, they no longer have passion fruit. So I wasn't able to get passion fruit. <laughs> Trials and tribulations of being me. Rough life. <laughs> Anyways, um, this morning I put on the Paula's Choice Resist SPF 30 tinted sunscreen over the Jack Black Oil Free sunscreen uh, because I have it. Uh, I have it and I've had it for a while. I just haven't used it. I just finished the Exuviance tinted sunscreen that I typically use, and I'm probably going to use the Color Science one next. But the Paula's Choice one. Um, it, it's only SPF 30, whereas the other two are SPF 50, so it's not as good in that regard, but it's nice. It doesn't, it blends on really nice. It has a nice tint, but it's a little, it's a little streaky chalky, just a touch. Um, I think if you have a darker skin type, I'm not sure that it's going to, it's going to not be noticeable on your skin. You know when they say universal tint, and really what that means is kind of a tan, sheer chalkiness that on a darker skin tone doesn't look any better than the non-tinted. So, I don't know. Comment below, those of you who wear a Paula's Choice Resist SPF 30 tinted sunscreen. But she's got a SPF 50 Resist sunscreen 
However, that one is a chemical sunscreen. I don't think she has a 50 mineral sunscreen. All of her mineral sunscreens are like 30 and they're nice. They don't leave a cast, but they're pretty low protection given that people, given that people only apply sunscreen like a third of what they're supposed to. So they never actually get to 30. Um, so, you know, you're, you're ending up with like an SPF 15, 10. Um, but yeah, those are nice. They don't leave much of a cast otherwise. So yeah, that's a little sunscreen update. Um, and I've got my 10 mushroom blend here. Oh, update on the Fort Siggy protein powder. I finished the container. I really enjoyed it. There were 14 servings in it. It is like a mix of hemp protein, pea protein, and I think pumpkin seed. It had no flavor. It was great. I love unflavored protein powders. And that one, I want to say it also maybe had chia in it. It really blends into liquids incredibly well. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that protein powder. It's really good. It blends into liquids really easily and it doesn't, it doesn't taste like chalky or funky and you can flavor it with whatever, with whatever flavor that you want. And I think it's the addition of the mushrooms just make it, makes it go in to liquids with a more creamy, even consistency. I don't know, maybe that's all in my head, but it's, it was really good um, and I recommend it. Uh, oh, got to update you guys. Lemon sugar cookie, my favorite, Tuscany candle. Just as good as always. It's been burning solid. This is a winning scent. I love this candle. Funny story though, I, um, at Kroger this week, they had a Tuscany candle that I'd never seen before. I was really excited and I almost bought it. I was like, what kind of cupcake or something? And I almost bought it because I think I've smelled, I actually think I've smelled it before and they just run out of it. And I was like, oh sweet, I'm gonna get that. I picked it up and I was like, let me just double check the scent and make sure I still like it. Uh, Cause I knew, I, I'd remembered smelling it in the past. I opened it up and someone had already burned it. It was already clear, it had already clearly been lit and maybe somebody took it back to the store like they didn't like the scent and the Kroger just put it back out on the shelf lit. They didn't check. So I'm glad I looked. I've never, something like that's never happened to me at Kroger before, but yeah, funny Kroger story. Anyways, oh, exciting news. I got my, I ordered some kind of houseware type stuff on YesStyle. So I'll show you guys that. I think I mentioned it a while ago that I would placed an order. So I'll show you guys what I got. All right, first of all, I got these little shoes. I mean, they, um, they weren't very expensive. I just thought they were cute. They're like little brown flats. I'm not wearing the best socks to show you guys. They do fit. Yeah, not wearing the best socks to demo these, but they're really comfortable. Um, and I don't know, they were really inexpensive. I thought they'd be cute. Uh, for the summer. They are, I'm a size seven and a half to eight, so I got 39 and that seems to fit. I needed um, lingerie bags for laundry and I got this, I think it was a set, um, one for underwear. It's cute, it's got a little picture on there. And I also got one for bras and then um, this one's like for a shirt, it's much bigger. They're nice to have a zipper that goes all the way around and then i got this cute little pink or blue bunny i thought it was cute as well all right and then i thought why not try japanese toothpaste this brand dr dr <laughs> it looked good i have no idea what it's going to be like it's kind of an impulse purchase um let's see if it describes the flavor in any way Probably not. Dear Rose toothpaste. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be kind of a rose taste. I'm excited to try it. I think it'll be more fun than actually functional. Uh, but th speaking of fun and functional, I had to get this just for the packaging. This is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I typically, currently I'm using the Hotelabo Cleansing Oil. That's my favorite. I have used the DHC one in the past uh, and I, I like it. It's a little more expensive than the Hotelabo one. And honestly, they're the pretty much the exact same. I mean, they achieved the same outcome. However, this packaging was worthy of purchasing. I love Alice in Wonderland. How cute is that? Um, I think it looks like, that's the picture of what it actually looks like in the box, outside of the box. Then YesStyle threw in a free 
beauty blonder. It's cute on their packaging. They put this little bunny on there, so it looks like a bunny. These are handy for um, dabbing on sunscreen on top of your makeup, supposedly. Anyways, I also got some little kitchen dishcloths. This one is like to wipe off surfaces. It's really soft. Um, and then I got Then I also got some uh, little kitchen towels. I got some white ones. They're nice, they're like a microfiber. They're really soft and they have, there's four in a pack and they have a little ribbon loop so you can hang them up. They're square. So I got white and then I got pink ones as well. So I've been really happy with all the Japanese shampoos I've ever tried out. And you guys know I'm kind of a shampoo, tr serial shampoo trier. I wanted to try the Curel shampoo. So I got this travel set. It came with a shampoo and the conditioner. I don't typically use conditioner, but um, the little travel set seemed like a nice, a nice way to try them out. And then I got new coasters. Um, they're just like cute little fun shapes. Uh, I got these little, mostly these little toasts. I think there are three toasts. And I also got two cats. I just thought these were cute. An owl, a little squirrel, and a little Bambi. So you'll recall a few vlogs back I made Seitan. I want to try making it into a sausage link. So I got this cool sausage mold on Yes Style. It can go in a steamer. It's like a silicone mold and it, the little chopper has steam vent holes in it. So I think that'll be fun. I'm going to try that at some point. So that was pretty inexpensive. All right, and then I also got this cute little shirt with a monkey on it. It's a long sleeve shirt. I thought this would be comfortable for um, in the air conditioning, honestly. It's, even though it's boiling hot, it gets so cold inside with the AC. So they have a variety of cute little animals embroidered on these shirts by this brand. What is it? BYJ Studio. So I got that. And then I got this um, gizmo to go on my bathroom mirror to hold my <laughs> dental floss and toothbrush. It goes on to the mirror with a suction device that um, fits on by twisting. It suctions on by twisting that little turn key. So this looked like a good, a good way to go for holding that kind of thing up. And I've really been into jazzy chia pudding lately. Uh, I'm, I showed you guys in my recent eye herb haul that I got that blue butterfly powder and I also have um, some uh, dragon fruit pitaya powder and it just makes these vibrant colors. So I got these cute little glasses to have my chia pudding out of in the morning. They say good morning on them, one in black and one in gray. And then I also got some lip glosses. Uh, I got a Muji UV Lip Color SPF 12 PA Plus in the color Rose. And then I got a Muji Lip Cream SPF 20 Fragrance Free. Um, so I thought that would be good to give a try. I'm almost out of my Vanny Cream. And then I also got, uh, speaking of Muji, I got these eye mask sheets. Remember I was asking you guys about some alternatives to the Color Science eye, um, hydrogel eye masks? These aren't hydrogel, but I got them because I still have the, um, the um, hyaluronic acid that goes around the eyes and I like putting something over it. And so I got some of these, they are pretty inexpensive. And I guess you can use them to targeted areas on the face as well. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Yes Style. Ta da! A little dental floss holder works quite nicely. The suction works really well. Tybee bow tie, my goodness. What did I just you do? I just got here and Tybee has a brand new toy. He's had it for all of two seconds, and he is fixated on annihilating it was so it was it was a little pineapple first he ripped the tag off then he ripped the green topper off and now he has proceeded to do that with the intestines yeah he did a lipo removal and then he also did surgery and took out the uh, 
the squeaker deck to me. <laughs> it looks like a bladder. Yeah. I'd be the uh, urologist. But check out my mom's new desk setup. She had this, she's had this desk for a few weeks now, and I think I showed it to you before. It's the little IKEA desk. But you got these, are these Alex drawers? Um, no, it's the Mickey drawer cabinet that goes with the little Mickey dread desk. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's perfect the way it fits right so in there. So it's got, the desk itself has a drawer here, and then a drawer here. Maybe you've got it all. Nice yeah, and tidy. Oh, I got those at Ikea as well, too, as organizers. Cool. And over here, drawers. Oh, label maker. <laughs> File cabinet. Oh, that's nice. There's a wheel um, in the middle of the drawer so that yeah. it rolls out. Oh, cool. And it can do uh, hanging folders, either vertical, either... Um, uh, what is that called? A legal size uh -huh. or a regular size, oh, whichever cool. you want. This so, is adjustable? Yeah. Nice. It's adjustable. Yeah, the task rabbit helped me out with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. the uh, assembly of IKEA furniture does require some advanced knowledge. Little boy. You! Miss I'm summer ready! I'm summer ready! Look, he knows that thing is up here. Yeah, he, look how big his eyes are. Can't have that He's like, <laughs> it's not puppy. Set. Look at how big his eyes are. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give look, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Little this is my boy. imitation of Felix the cat claw. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about that squeaker. I just realized it and I thought, well, I don't want to go anywhere because no. <laughs> there'll be traffic everywhere. Come on, let's push it. This thing works pretty well, your little okay, strawberry I'm hauler. Get some new stuff because I've had it for years. It's one of those things that you think you're going to use, but you don't. Oh, yeah. They look nice. Did the task grab a hang those or did yeah, you? Yeah, I've seen those, but they had some at Kroger that were like the... I saw those. Summer ready. <laughs> uh, I also cut up some strawberries. It tastes really good. The watermelon is perfect. It's not, um, you know, it's just the right amount of sweetness. And it's not excessively juicy either, which is convenient. I don't like it when it makes a mess all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> it's just right. It's good. We're kicking off our summer for sure. Happy Memorial yeah, Day weekend. Good watermelon. Yeah. Was it Kroger. from here in Texas? Did you yeah. Know? Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. I put salt on my watermelon. Yeah, a lot of people do that. It kind of brings out the flavor. Mm -hmm. Green juices because they were having a buy one get one free. I got the Sublime, I think it is. It's got parsley, kale, spinach, and lemon in it. And you got... I got the berry, berry blast, is Berry it? banana burst, I think yeah. it is. It's, uh, it's blueberries, good. banana, and acai, maybe? Acai, yeah. It's good? And um, cashew milk. Oh, somebody's tranquilo now that he's lulled to sleep in the snoozer. You got this on Amazon? Um, no, I think I got it from Chewy.com. Chewy.com? It's called yeah. a snoozer? Yeah, it's, or maybe I got it from their website, the snoozer website. They have other doggy beds and 
seat, car seats. He loves them. Little boy. Yeah, well, he slept in that when we went on the, uh, when you, we went, where was it we went? Seabrook. Seabrook. <laughs> he took all of the stuffing out of his pineapple. He sure did. There's some more. He found Supper a time. Bit more in there. Supper time. <laughs> well, hey guys, we're back. Heidi has pulled all the stuffing out of his pineapple. Um, but I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk Bye. to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.